Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Today on Doodle Draw Art, I'm doing a review of the UG2150 graphics tablet. All right, so here we are in nice and close on the UG2150 graphics tablet. Um, I ordered this from Gearbest. It was a great price, uh, fast shipping, and I got a tracking ID so I could keep track of where it was the whole time it was en route. Um, I'll put the link in the video description here if you're interested in checking it out there. Um, when it arrived, I installed it no problem. It came in a really sturdy shipping package. Everything was in good condition. Uh, I needed to use the CD to install it. There were no online drivers. I had looked there first to see if I could just grab some, some drivers, but I did actually need to use the CD. So if you don't have a CD drive, that could be an issue. Um, all of the cables and instructions were included. There was an HDMI cable, a USB cable, a VGA or digital video port um, cable, which I didn't need, but that would be instead of the HDMI if you had that sort of input, and also the a power adapter that powers up the unit, and also two styluses and stylus charge cables, and a little cup to hold your stylus when you're not using it. You can sit it this way as well. There's a little groove here to stop it from rolling off the table, which is kind of cool. Um, and so um, you can see here it is huge. It's 21 and a half, hence the name 2150, 21 and a half inches from corner to corner. So it gives you lots of space to do your work. And I'll give you a little demonstration now. We'll have a look at how it actually functions. So I'm just going to pull this up a little bit. There's a clip at the back that I can use to uh, raise and lower the angle. So I'll pull this up so you can get a good view of the entire screen. It's not the best angle for me to work at, but it is the best angle for you to see. So right out of the box, you have access to a Windows Ink workspace, which you can see pulls up a few options here. You can find your sticky notes. There's a sketch pad and a screen sketch. Um, and if I just click on the screen sketch, you can see what this does. So the actual screen sketch was achieved by clicking a button down here and this is uh, what it does. It takes a picture of your screen and then you can draw directly on the screen image and then you can save the file and send it to your friend or use it for your video or whatever you decided, your school project, whatever thing you needed to create this image for. So that's pretty cool. So straight out of the box, there is something that you can do with that. Um, there's also a, um, if you click on this little tablet icon, so you can calibrate your stylus here simply by choosing the four or the nine point calibration and then just following the instructions, clicking the dots on the screen, and this will calibrate the stylus to work according to your visual angle um, so that it looks the way you expect it to. All right, so close it up. So let's just uh, explore drawing with the um, with the sketch pad here that, like I say, right out of the box, you're able to use this. So here you can see there's a marker tool and the marker can change sizes. We can use all these different colors of marker. Um, there's also a pencil tool, similar idea. We can change colors and sizes of the pencil. You can see at the bottom gives the idea. There's also a highlighter. This is super handy when you are using the screen capture. Um, an eraser. Uh, you can change the size of the eraser, you can erase everything. And then there's even cool little things in here like a protractor or a, uh, or a ruler. So if you wanted to draw some curves, you could, you could do those quite easily using those tools. So the stylus itself, I'm talking to you more about the program at this point, just so you can see how I'm using it. But the stylus is very, very, um, very responsive. The, the screen, the, you can see the cursor is tracking my mouse very well. And there's a tiny bit of lag if you go really fast, but that's to be expected and it's kind of cool actually because you can then see the line you're working on as you work on it. Um, it's got a really nice amount of variability in the lines. I mean, I'll switch to black again, they're easier to see. So if I just sketch lightly here, you can see I can achieve a very gentle line. And if I press more firmly, I can have a thicker line. And if I change my pressure within my stroke, I can get variability with that as well, which is really great for um, when you're doing line work. So um, it has great responsiveness. It has a really large size screen. So that makes it really great when you're working with something like Photoshop. Um, it enables you to um, 
keep your workspace really large while at the same time having access to your tools and your windows on the edges here without feeling that you're cramped at all. So I really find that this huge size is awesome. It works great with Photoshop, which I have open now, or even with uh, Illustrator or Clip Studio Paint. Um, it probably will work with any program that you happen to want to use. Those are just the three that I have. So in general, um, I have no complaints about the functionality of this unit. Uh, the price was amazing and it's it, it's really quite, I'm really quite impressed with it considering the good deal that it was. If you were to purchase a similar model in the Cintiq, you'd be looking at five times the price, no question. So yeah, if you're looking to get started in uh, a graphics tablet, I would recommend this one for sure. There are really only two drawbacks to the unit and I guess they're small maybe three. One was that you needed the DVD or the CD to install it, but it was no big deal for me. The, um, the second one is that there is a glare, so you might want to put a screen guard on it or just make sure that you have uh, your lighting situation set up so that you don't have any glare that interferes with your work. The last thing and the only really big issue is if you like to work on a low angle, when you pull up on this bar here, um, the lowest that's really good to work on it is, is like this, which is fine for me. I like it to be angled up toward my face, but if you like to have it super low, the cables are all coming out from underneath this area here. And so let's see, here's the clip that, up, that you pull up on this and that releases the, the grab and then you can raise and lower it. But you can see the cables are all underneath this little support and if you get too low there's really nowhere for them to go and they end up interfering with the with the with the legs and the support so that's a very small issue um, and it would only be an issue if you prefer a super flat setup but if you're using it in an angle similar to this one it's gonna be it's gonna be great um, you also might notice here that there's really nice grabby legs it's very sturdy once you set it up it's got a great, a great um, sturdy base to work from. All right, so that's my review of, uh, of the GearBest uh, UG2150. Um, I would give it, I would give it nine out of 10. That's my rating on this. It's a nine out of 10. And really only a nine, oh, give it a 9.5 out of 10. Cause the, the very small issues that I have with it are uh, mechanical and easily worked around, not at all interfering with the function. Uh, I'm gonna give it a 9.75. It's very close to a 10 out of 10, especially for the price. Uh, the price, five stars for sure. Okay, that's my review. Okay, so um, that's it. If you have any questions, please be sure to pop them in the comment section here and come on back for some doodle draw art. And if you'd like some digital art intro lessons, maybe you could let me know that in the description here as well because I do lots of hand drawing tutorials, but uh, I've got a graphics tablet now. So if you'd like some basic Photoshop tutorials, basic, basic Photoshop, let me know. All right, we'll see you next time.